All right, so today is the day that uh, we're going out to put out our deer feeder, and I'll take you guys along for that. It's already two o'clock today, the video is just starting. And so uh, I'm gonna run to Max Hardware, it's a hardware store in town, and get what we use to build our deer feeders. I'll show you guys the step-by-step -step process how to do it. It's probably the easiest, most basic deer feeder you could have, gravity-fed. You can make the whole thing for easily under $20. I think they're $7. For everything actually if you already have like something to cut a hole so i mean it's very cheap we're gonna run and get corn after that and then we will be headed out to the woods to set the whole thing up might set out a couple trail cameras today too but we'll see so thanks for watching click the little like and subscribe and enjoy the video Alright, so um, as you guys just saw, I just bought a 55 gallon barrel. It's just a plastic barrel with two two inch PVC caps in the end so you can get feed and corn in there. And then that's all you need for this whole project. After uh, you got your barrel, all you either need is a hole saw kit, which is a circular cutter for a drill, or a sawzall. And all you do is make the hole a couple inches off the bottom, maybe even just a half inch or one inch off the ground. You take your cutting device, whatever one you uh, used, and then you uh, cut the hole as big as you want. I usually go like a two by two hole. Some people go four inches, some people go wide open, six inch holes. It just kind of depends how many you want. You can do multiple two inch holes. But I'll show you once we get in the woods, I'll show you what I do and then set the thing up for you guys so you can see what you need to do. So stay tuned. So I'm out where we deer hunt and I'm bringing the feeder out, just making you guys a video quick about how I make my feeders and stuff. And we got sunflowers right here, obviously, and then the trees we hunt are right there and then pickups there and more trees so uh yeah look at this it's kind of hard to see but all these deer tracks all the way what would it be right down right there right there just along the sunflowers all the way down so i'm getting excited only a month away so let's have some fun with this All right, so we got our uh, barrel here. We got the hole cut. We're just gonna put it where we want now and then fill it up with corn.
All right, so uh, yeah, that's it. I uh, did it in about 10 minutes. It's right there. See the corn just comes out. The more they eat, it's not very full yet. Only brought three bags, 150 pounds out today. So uh, when you bring the trail cameras out in a week, I think we'll bring three or five more bags and fill it to the top. And that will last till about almost December. The reason you'd make one of these is because of, otherwise when you don't, the, uh, the squirrels and the raccoons will really, really put a number on your corn. We used to just dump it straight on the ground and we'd be going through 50 pounds every three or four days. This way, I would say about $70 in feed, about 600 pounds will last us four or five months. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching the video. I am going to be doing a semi-live series this year, bow hunting. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, the stand's actually going to go right in there. And uh, yeah, so it's going to be a lot of fun doing that. Uh, every day I come out here deer hunting or to work out here, I'm going to bring you guys along. So uh, the videos might not be the longest. You might just get a three or four minute video, but it's going to be three or four videos a week. So it's going to be a lot of fun doing that. And then Remember, we're going out west mule deer hunting this year. Very, very excited for that. And of course, you guys are coming along for that too. So thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe button. Many more videos coming up this fall.